Okay, here we go. We're back with part four, Taverners. Where uh, if you're a Dionysus, you can send us in questions. It's like time. these people lovely. For weird so and did. wonderful questions. Let's get to it. Ugh. Okay, here we go. All right, we're going to start with True Divination. Hey, first hey, on the list as okay. usual. Good to see you number one as usual, True. Okay, True. Joe, oh, this is funny because we were talking about uh, food. Yeah, we actually uh, did. Yeah, yeah, I've <laughs> yeah, got an yeah. answer for this already. Joe, what's your favorite fish to eat? Smoked salmon. Honestly, Easy. I'm going to say same, honestly. Well, Joe... What's your... What, Next, oh, what's your, joking, uh, not really. We'll have yeah, a bit what, more. No, no, yeah. So I'm not a um, seafood guy at all. No, um, no. All, all you nerds and hipsters who may be listening to this right now uh, might be ready to brandish your pitchforks and torches, uh, but I do not like sushi. Which sushi, though? Because there's loads of sushis. Well, like, you know... Do the, you like the spicy raw, salmon rolls? Raw, no. I don't like cold, raw fish. I'm not a fan of it at all. I like oh, my California food. I like my food cooked. Though. I do, however, like gyoza. Gyoza is quite nice. And, and yeah. uh, uh, green tea, I don't mind having that whenever I go to a sushi. Well, 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 well let me change that. When I'm ever forced to go to a sushi place, and <laughs> I like, I like <laughs> to have a bit of green tea here and there while I'm there. Oh uh, well. yeah, not, green tea's good for you. Well, it's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I just hoggle the gyoza when I'm at a sushi place. I'm, I do not like. I'm not a fan of fish food. Did you not like the salmon rolls, like the spicy salmon rolls, no, uh, California rolls They're or anything? They're okay, but I, I wouldn't really go out of my way to have them, to be honest. I like sushi. I don't know. I've kind of uh, grown accustomed to sushi now a lot, I'd say. Well, you uh, are definitely the more hipster of the two of us. And remember, you yeah. got me into boba tea a while back as well. <laughs> I don't really think Just much of boba tea, to be honest. Oh, boba tea's all right. It's I like okay. the bubbles. They get in the way. No, you pop them. They're nice. What? But I want to. I don't want to pop stuff. I want to drink my drink. Yeah, you drink the drink and then pop the bubbles. No, that shit takes forever. I just want to sip. <laughs> I just treat my drink it's like a it's a fucking drink, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and what's your favorite fish not to eat? Uh, well, there's a lot, as you could probably tell from my last answer. Um, um, <laughs> most of it, if I'm being honest. Uh, uh, I just like me, my food cooked. The only fish food I like is smoked salmon, which I do really like, and uh, prawns. That's literally it. Uh, my favorite fish not to eat is probably. I'm gonna say. I don't like mackerel. Huh. Mackerel's not nice. So you're a your heart android in disguise. <laughs> I don't like mackerel. Glory to mankind. <laughs> I don't think I like macro. I tried a bit of macro. I didn't really like it. It was a bit like. Uh, oh, you got a bad ending, did you? Yeah, I got a bad ending from the Sorry, macro. Sorry, being a near nerd yeah. all of a sudden. No, 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 no. I get it. Yeah, I didn't like the macro, and I agree that with that ending, why she died from the macro, it's not nice. It's not great. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, macro is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like that. Cool. But yeah, my favourite fish to eat would probably be salmon as well. Salmon's yeah. delicious. Smoked salmon specifically. And I like it if you cook salmon as well. Yeah. Like, if you, like, cook a salmon and then you, like, yeah. Raw no, salmon really is disgusting. I hate it. I like it cooked. I, it. Yes, I like it cooked. My food needs to be hot and cooked, and unless it's a yeah. vegetable. But, like, my meat, it's got to be cooked. That's the way I am. I'm Even very, vegetables very, really nice very vanilla, them. massive meat eater, but I do not like fish food. Oh, oh. well, I thank hope, you, True, for your questions. I hope uh, that you are able to accept these answers, True, and that you don't stand at me too hard uh, if they are unacceptable. I'm just yes. not a fan of the stuff, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Right, here we go, Joe. Next question. Dragonzord 720 for Ooh. Joe. In an Ooh. alternate dimension, where you've been teleported to, where everything Ben pronounces in your dimension is correct, <laughs> oh. how would you cope? Uh. <laughs> EX, like example, Mera, Mara. <laughs> do you want me to? Pat, do, you to do you want me to voice the rest of this question, mate? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Example: Mira is Mera, and Parry is Perry. Not making fun of you by any means, but he's curious, so uh, I need to. Oblige yeah, to how would you cope? How would so, you cope in this dimension? It was funny because uh, um, the question says that everything Ben pronounces in your dimension is correct, uh, but examples are that 
the correct examples are incorrect. Like mirror is mirror and parry. Is no, blue. I'm correct because I'm pronouncing it the way I'm pronouncing oh, it. Oh right? right, that's sorry. Yeah, I get it now. That, that's <laughs> yeah. that's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would kill myself. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Seriously? I'm You'd serious. go that far? My autistic You'd go that my aut far? My, my, my autistic trait is that I'm very OCD and I get triggered easy by this sort of thing. So, uh, I think it would be one shot Ben from now on after that. Oh my which God, is fine because, one shot yourself? Because that's, but Object, I will right. say that it would be content. Because if you're saying things completely wrong all the time, I'm constantly getting raged. And that seems to be uh, our favorite personality <laughs> traits of a lot of the audience who watch our stuff. No! So in a way, no. it might be uh, a good thing <laughs> for the channel. I hate to say it. Yeah, people love no. pain after all. Oh, no, don't be like that. No. <laughs> oh, I'm very much being like that. <laughs> very much so. Uh, I'm sure you say some things incorrect that I never I picked do. up on. I do. Oh, absolutely, I do. We're only human after I've all. probably never picked up on them, though. It's just a really funny accent, and it's special, and like, pianist is just, like, you, you can't make that shit up. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I still, I don't, I have trouble You make it an art word. form is what I'm saying, Ben. Yeah, that's well, like, take, I that's had a trouble compliment. pronouncing that word. I'm not going to say it again. I had trouble with it before. Oh, I'm come not gonna... on. Bring it back. Save a line. Penis. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh. oh yeah, it would be, words. it would be pain at Dragon Zord, but I would endure because we'll be swimming subs. Sure. Oh man! <laughs> Bring in the All numbers, right. Ben. All right. Okay. Your <laughs> turn, Joe. All right. Uh, this one is. Thank you for dragons. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're on the neon. Now. And, All uh, right. Neon asks, uh, uh, "Is there an LP that you wanted to do but were nervous about it not being interesting to your viewers?" This is a oh. great question this is a really good question because yeah, like, like this, this comes up all the time for us actually yeah. like we really have to think about the channel a lot in terms of like yeah we what do what our audience want to watch as you well you can't say as we what don't we consider wanna play. what our audience we do either, consider it absolutely we do it has to be we a do good consider it what we want to play and what our audience would like us to play as well because like we don't just go off and like we do i feel it. like and also, like, the grand scheme of it is the realism of can we actually play this or not in yeah. terms of, like, how long it is. Our schedules and, and stuff like that. And our schedules and stuff. Uh, but then if it's going to pull in the views, it, the length doesn't really matter too much. Like, for example, Elden Ring is such a Oof. big hit yeah. that it didn't matter too much about, like, how long the game... It. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So, I guess... Games that we've considered in the past, uh, like at one point, I feel like there I was torn between actually like the Crash Bandicoot situation oh. where we only played like the first game <laughs> yeah. and then like we, we didn't play the rest of them. Um, but we did we just, then. We did, yeah, we did. We Remember, did play Crash we, we, yeah. we titled it as Danga Rompa V3 by mistake, and we've yet to rectify oh, it. Oh, yeah, oh no, yeah, we did. It was a very long Crash 2 LP, I have to say. <laughs> very long. <laughs> yeah, that damn pandemic, oh, you know, it just uh, extends a uh, series sometimes. You can't help it, it does, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we played that game during the pandemic. <laughs> oh, man. We lived through Greatest a pandemic. Greatest of all time. Yeah, oh, gosh, yeah. Never be anything like that again. You have played Crash 4 on stream, though. I did play Crash 4 on stream. Yeah, I did play that on stream. Yeah, I did. Uh, I think I'm uploading those upload streams. Those. You still got to upload cross codes, too. I know, man. I've got so much to upload still. I know I do. I do. I've got to find time to be able to just do it. i still got to upload my uh, other stream on Knuckle Sandwich as well. That I've uh, not done yet. I think there's only going to be one more stream of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, trans, trans, uh, LP, let's see. It's a crash uh, one. To crash with one of them. Um, at one point, we actually were, I think... Oh, were we gonna consider 13 Sentinels? Yeah, I was point? gonna say yeah. that because I played a bit yeah. of it. And I was like, this should be a really good game to LP. 
But yeah, and we at, never did get around to it at the it time. Like we we were, played it. Yeah, yeah, we were still doing. We were knee E3 deep in Danganronpa. Yeah, we we're also knee deep in the pandemic once again. Uh, and I was yeah. going through a really, really rough move too, where a lot of bad yeah. things were happening personally in my life. Uh, and uh, Thirteen Sentinels was my comfort game at the time. Yeah, and uh, it, that's sort of the reason why it didn't become a series, even though we both thought that that would have been a really good one for the channel too. Just because we just we just got so deep into it to the point where it was like, well, we've kind of gone a bit too far now to the point where it's not really considered blind anymore. And uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So sadly, yeah, it's, it's it one of those things car. where you have to play it blind and not really. Definitely, uh, it's Absolutely. not really a game that would be viable for people who haven't played it blind, sort of thing. Like if you know what's happening, then you know what's happening. It's a very complicated, intricate story as well. <laughs> yeah, if, if that's been nice. So it would have been good because the discussions we would have been having while playing it would have been cool but yeah there's a lot the of same big time moments in it as well like, that would have been part yeah. of the action content i reckon as well uh it is what it is though we both played it and it was an amazing <laughs> game uh as unicorn overlord is actually also another thing i would consider as oh, well but then that's i thought we were talking about like games in the past not like oh now. games in the past oh Mate, okay, we've sorry, already got yeah. a patch schedule we've got like, i know i know, games, I know and we've got know, this know, dlc okay. as well coming sure i know i know i know <laughs> i'm not i'm not okay games in the past though oh persona 5 was also one wasn't it was it no, no was way. it no no right the royal the royal i was talking about the royal version oh my god uh, i can't remember that yeah, no, we were considering that in the sense of like, oh yeah, P5R would uh, be really cool. But then we were like, we both played it. Would people be interested in like? You sure it wasn't Shimigami Tensei Five? Because I really wanted to cover that for the channel as well. Oh no, it was SMT Five, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. No, but actually, P5R was also uh, uh, no Royal was also actually on our list as well. Because I remember we were like. We were talking about, it, but then we were like, "Would how much new content is there actually to it?" Yeah. We have both plays the original. Is it actually worth diving in like as an LP? I actually remember that we had a very like a discussion about, it, and then we were like, "Nah, it's not worth it." No, nah. like no. Nah. I vaguely remember, yeah. Things come and um, go, and time goes yeah. on. And because of the not a lot of time that we have, we need to consider these things at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. So, um, yeah, that's a few tactics, that got. tactics games though, like that's also something that I would be scared to play on the channel as oh, well. Because I, I remember a vague. No, no, no. But I mean, like at one point, wasn't like free houses also like something we were thinking about? Oh god, it might have been. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll, and when we were like, oh, is it like, is it interesting enough to hold like a let's play? I think it would have been. Know? I don't know. It probably would have been. I don't know. I don't know. We've never done a tactics game on the channel before, so uh, be fun one day. yeah, maybe fun one day to try that. If people, yeah. if we've got an audience for that, I don't even know if we have an audience for that. Pokemon's a tactics game. You have to use tactics to not fucking not, die. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Well, like, the tactics being just spam boss, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean, like a movement place sort of tactics game I mean. where you, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, those are one of the many LPs that we have considered, but sadly uh, was not able to put it on the channel. No, no. And it's funny enough, because <laughs> a, be a, a question <laughs> is that, um, were we nervous about it not being interesting to your viewers? And, and the answer is no, I feel like a lot of them would have actually been interesting to our viewers. I don't think there's actually been a, an LP that we've considered that we haven't. Of that, uh, in terms, yeah, to viewers, if I'm being I don't honest. think we've ever really thought about nervous to viewers. You're right, it's more about can we actually, yeah, can we fit this in? Can we fit this That's in? So, is, is there is there time? Is there a yeah. good like locking in LP is like actually a commitment? Oh, yeah, like, Got oh, in, it's like yeah. a massive, it's massive commitment, and like some of these games take hours to complete mm. so. If a game doesn't do great on the channel, it's kind of like, oh no, we're locked into this for like ages. <laughs> well, I don't think we've missed uh, with any of that yet. Not yet, not yet, not in terms of like terribleness, like terribleness. so bad that it's only not in like in, in terms of like, oh, it's so bad, no one wants to watch yeah, it. It's I getting like it. one view, you exactly, know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's never hit that level. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so yeah, that hopefully that answers your question, Yuan, and possibly people who have been interested in what we sometimes have considered for actual legit series on the channel. Yeah. Bit of yeah. Interesting one there, isn't Yuan? 
Yeah. Uh, another question from Neon is... Uh, um, oh, sorry, it's your turn. Yeah, this is from you. Oh, oh yeah, this is for you. Neon asked... Neon says this is not too asked. If you, would cre- if you would create a fighting game, mm-hmm. would you want to have the roster be composed of original characters or characters from a different oh. IP? That is a good question, actually. Because... I mean, uh, I would love for there to be a resurgence of PlayStation All Stars one day, but but like an actual good with, version. <laughs> hey, <laughs> nah, that, that game went through some development hell, and they did well getting the characters that they were out on there. Even if I do agree that the roster was very lacking compared to what was considered as a PlayStation All Star, but yeah, I would love the to one day. Uh, this is a pipe dream of mine, but for one one day to be an All Stars 2, and it's got characters like Remake Kratos, <laughs> uh, Aloy, maybe Ethan from Heavy Rain would be fucking hilarious. Uh, Crash and Spyro, as they look now, would be amazing. Uh, um, that, would, that would definitely have to swing harder for yeah, them. Yeah, that's now. especially nowadays. It's, no, it's never going to happen now, but I would, that, yeah. again, this is just a weird fantasy yeah. of mine. Yeah. Um, it was cool seeing Cat from Gravity Rush in the first game. That was a really awesome addition. Uh, uh, Solid Snake has got to be a character not riding this time because All Stars, <laughs> ex- 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 uh, Tomb yeah, Raider, Lara Croft. Got Snake. Yeah, um, <laughs> Lara Croft's got to be in it. Uh, I just Final find it Fantasy funny. Final Fantasy characters huh? have got to be in it as well. Like actual, I, uh, actual titular ones, like Cloud, uh, I, even though he's in Smash. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I just know. find it funny. <laughs> that Nintendo got it before Sony did. That was very funny at the time. We had a good laugh over that. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. I, I, I think it'd be cool to see a resurgence of that. It would never happen, but if I were to create a, fight, a fighting game, then I guess my answer to that would be characters from different IPs, because that would be cool. Because that's always a high piss shit. Crossovers. We all love a good crossover. Look at Marvel vs. Capcom. You've got the characters in yeah. that game. Um, yeah. There's also um, Blaze Blue uh, uh, Cross Tag Battle, which uh, ironically did not do it as well as the other ones, which is quite funny. No, it didn't. Uh, mm. But that's just because the mechanics were a little bit dodge compared to the usual Arc System games. Yeah, it's got to have good mechanics. Yeah, it can't definitely. just be like yeah. the characters. It's got, it's got to have Because fighting good games system. need longevity. Like, that's why yeah. they've got battle passes and character things and stuff like that. Because the, the actual core cool game and mechanics have got to be engaging. Like, Grand Prix Fantasy is doing really well, and that's made a resurgence because 2B has now been released as a guest character in that game, and she's awesome. Yeah. Me and a friend uh, on Discord were playing that together for, like, for hours, and we were like, oh, she's so different, but she plays so much like she would be if she was, like, a fine game character from her game. Like, she's got, like, records and stuff like that, and she's got, like, a massively complicated moveset of her pod, and she's got... The references to her in that game are so good. There's a reference to ending E when she wins uh, by blowing herself up in that game. <laughs> yeah, it's you need to see it to believe it. It's amazing. It's so good. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, crossover has always been the hype, so it will definitely yeah. be uh, characters from different IPs and you without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, fair enough. If I could, if I was a game developer, which I'm yeah. not, sadly, but yeah. Nice one, Neon. You know, it's a good mm-hmm. question. Yeah, awesome. Um, uh, oh, here we go. Cork. What's the best thing you ate, drank during your well uh, oh, uh breaks? Um <laughs> I had uh, uh I had Korak, hard, sorry, I said cork. I had noodles. I had a heart shaped pizza. That's kind of it really. I've actually not really been having much of a break during my LP break. No, so I've been yeah. and stuff and whatnot. Uh, it's just been the usual stuff that gives me sustenance while I work, really, more of anything. Nothing too special and crazy, sadly, Korok. But, Aww. yeah, I, I had new doors on Valentine's Day, which is, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have some really nice cocktails at the platform, which technically isn't food. But then again, a question yeah. that says drank, so... That is good as well. Um, I had a really weird... I can't remember the name of the drink. It was specific to this bar. But it was like a pina colada. But it was like a fruity pina colada. Oh, So it, nice. it tasted like coconut. Uh, obviously, it was rum. Mm-hmm. It, it had... Uh, I think it had blue curacao in it. Ooh. And it turned Yay. this pina colada into a fruity pina colada. I'm pretty sure there's a title for fruity pina colada. But... Um, yeah, we had that, 
and we had uh, four of those because that was our limit that we were allowed Ooh. to have and it was yeah. really delicious so that's Ooh. a nice drink did you I get had. the ingredients for it? all of the ingredients i'm or pretty did you work sure out? hang on i pre i think i took a picture of the ingredients i'll be right back oh okay so i uh, cut this out of the video yeah i'll cut this out of the video yeah it's fine Uh, let's have a look here. I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it. Oh, no, I didn't take a picture of the green. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's a shame. But it's a rainbow drink. It's blue, Ooh. yellow, and red. Uh, and that had pina colada and greens in it, and it was real. Hmm. So Interesting. It's very fruity. Nice. Uh, as for me to answer your question, the dim sum I had was delicious, but I will say me and my girlfriend got very creative and we cooked skewers that were absolutely skewers, uh, skewers, 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 as in yeah. like chick chicken skewers, you yeah, know, like you put, we got that we, we went to like uh, Tesco's and bought the skewer and then we put the, the chick cut up the chicken into cubes and like put them on the skewer and stuff. Okay. Um, uh, nice. And we put like peppers and uh, and mushrooms on the skewers as well. Yeah. And um, we made a, a sauce for them, which was like uh, grated hard cheese, uh, paprika, mm. um, and like you just like like mixed it onto like painted it onto the skewer and like cooked it into the chicken and stuff. Mm. Uh, oh my god, they were so delicious! I do have a picture actually of them um, that I can post if. I'll also on send the, you a picture the video. of the drinks. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll post well, them on maybe. this. <laughs> I'll put them, yeah, I'll, I'll post them here and on the... Nice one. Yeah, me, cool. yeah. So they, they were really good. They were like probably my favourite thing I ate. Um, This break, well-earned break. Mm -hmm. You can't beat cooked food. Your own cooked food sometimes is really delicious. Lovely. Uh, all right, home, let's... About it. Yeah, I know. It's almost sunshine for me, actually. Mm -hmm. Um... Right, so, next question. Mm -hmm. Jamie Kitsune. Yo. So, I don't really like Souls-like games, Fair. but I've watched them on your channel because of how ent entertaining the two of you are. Oh, oh thank cheers, you, man. Bro. Yeah. Are there any genres of games that either of you have no interest in playing? Any genres of games? Sports? It's probably... Well, <laughs> you say that, but there's Unless like... Unless it's like a... Mario a wacky icing on top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was about to say. Unless it's like a wacky but version. Madden and FIFA. Yeah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Fuck say sports noise. as well. Like no Madden and FIFA. Oh, I just no. It's the same game over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. There's never any interesting element to it. FIFA's I dying don't... now. Finally, woohoo. Um, At least from what I don't I've been understand. Told. I, I don't. I don't really understand the joy of the sports games, like the realistic ones. Yeah. Um, probably, unless it's got I'd like some wacky, it, you know. Like unless it's like something like Rocket League or something, I get the joy of that. I mean, that's that's a goofy car football game. That's yeah. a video game. That you yeah. Yeah. Really knock Rocket League, can you? No, no, no. But I'm saying that's what I mean. Like unless it's got some weird element to it. Yeah. Like Mario Kart is fun because it's ridiculous racing with power ups yeah. and Maricard, stuff Maricard. like that. Yes, yeah, but a, a regular racing game like Formula One or something like that, you know, like Gran Turismo, sorry, I should say, I wouldn't have any interest in it. I would find yeah. it dull and boring, no matter how pretty the graphics are. Yeah. Um, and I'm not, it's just not my cup of tea. Yeah, if I'm being honest, there's not really a lot of genres of games that I've not played that I wouldn't be interested in playing, like, another version of it. That makes any yeah. sense. Like, yeah. There's not really been a genre that hasn't not interested me besides, like, uh, well, I mean, even, even with sports games, like you said, Ben, like if there's like a wacky aspect to it or like yeah. a, a, a make like a Mario makeover or whatever, then yeah. chances are we'll probably enjoy it and have fun. Because, like, yeah. what? I like rhythm games, I like shooting games, uh, we like visual novels, platformers, uh, uh, strategy games, RPGs, uh, action games. There's not really a lot of genres I can think of that I don't really have an interest in playing. Like yeah. roguelikes and heck, even like card games gameplay I've recently got into thanks to Inscription and Midnight Suns. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, there's not really a lot. I mean, you can make <laughs> no. any genre work and be fun if you really as long put as your it's, mind to it. Yeah, as long as it's got some interest in it, you know. 
Yeah, if it's um, fun, then it doesn't really matter what the genre is, right? It's like in music. Yeah. It's like, I don't care what genres things are now. If it's not metal, but it, it can still bop, and I'm probably going to like it either way, all right? Like, yeah. It doesn't really matter what it yeah. is. A song's a song now in my eyes. Yeah. So uh, I no. suppose the closest would be sports, because yeah. the, the big kings that usually make up sports games are boring. So probably yeah. that if I was to say. I Jordan wouldn't want to play, a, let's just say I wouldn't want to play a, a standard basketball game. You know, yeah. like I don't find that interesting. I don't find football interesting if it's just standard football. Uh, it has to have something yeah. that makes it insane. If Michael like, Jordan doesn't for example, have a goofy special attack where he extends his arm, then I'm not playing Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. For example, like Splatoon is like an over-the-shoulders, like, team-based shooter game but it's interesting because it uses ink and all those weird power-ups and mechanics and they like turn into like you know so it's 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 cool that was a cool take on the team-based shooter game so yeah you know it's it has to have a hook yeah it can't just be generic yeah. in my well, opinion i'd say sports games, yeah really. yeah pretty much sports for me yeah. as well there you go yeah and also, respect for you for not liking Souls-like games, because I'm actually not a fan of Souls-like games either. However, no. Lies of P has been an amazing Souls-like, because it feels like a game that FromSoft made. Because, uh, I mean, well, I'm not, I've not played a lot of 3D Souls-likes. So I've played a few 2D Souls-likes games, if you could call them that. I suppose the closest is, like, you know... Um, wait, but Joe... Wait, wait, let me finish it. So, <laughs> okay. I played, I played Sword and Sanctuary, didn't like it. Um, uh, played, uh... Uh, that was uh, blasphemous. Couldn't get into that either. Um, Hollow Knight has got Souls-like elements to it, and I really enjoyed Hollow Knight, but I don't really consider it a Souls-like. It is a Souls-like. No. No, it, it's a it, Metroidvania. It, okay, fine. It's more of a the Metroidvania. The only aspect that it's got that Souls-like is when you die and you collect your body. Okay, that's fair it. Enough. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I don't really gel a lot of Souls-likes, because if I want to play a Souls-like, I'll just play Dark Souls. But, yeah. Um, but Lars of P, which I've been streaming, has been really good. I've been really enjoying yeah. that. that, that but feels, like, it feels like an unapologetic uh, From a Soft rip-off, but that's why I fucking love it so much, because it feels like a From a Soft game. And there's yeah. so much attention to detail and environment design, and yeah, I'm, I'm really good time on that game. That's been a really good Souls-like. Also, also going back to Neon's question, actually, about games that we were interested in, wasn't Liza P also one of them at one point as well? Oh, yeah, there's quite a few some from software games that we're interested in, but there's just no way of being able to cover it in an LP, which, nah, is, which is why we yeah. stream, because that's yeah, sometimes the why only we... way that a game you want is going to be covered. And yeah, sometimes it's a compromise is the sometimes. best way to, to cover these ones. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it's better than not being covered at all, because chances are it won't be, because it'll be yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. So, thanks for that, Jamie Kitsune. All right. Are yeah. we Are we on the, Are we on it now? Are we Yeah, on, we're on it now. We're on yeah. to the fix, right? Okay, here we go. <laughs> all right, Gideon. So, as Ben and Joe so began Gideon to read me. this patch, Patreon message, a monopad was chucked straight. Oh, God, we're getting the dang drop elements now. Oh, here we go. As soon as the electronic device is brought before the host of one-shot players, it all Mac turned on. The print for Ben and Joe is a familiar white-haired youth. Oh, fuck off. Hello, it's Nagato. This, uh, yeah, I still not gotten over him. Uh, <laughs> I'm sending you this message since, unfortunately, Sir Gideon has been called back to Japan to fulfill this contractual obligation as it pertains to the new Elder Ring deal with Seashell the Earth Tree. Unfortunately, unavailable <laughs> until June. Oh no, is that for real, Gideon? I hope oh, things no. are going to be okay until until the DLC comes out. Oh, I would have thought that would have been the opposite when the DLC came out, that you would not be have, oh, have been dear. free when the DLC comes out. Um, <laughs> But both and Joe noticed that Nagato's room was visible as the youth continued on his explanation. They could see images of the ultimates covering his wall, all contained expensive picture frames. The latest frame has Joe's face on it, his drunken image being captured in glorious high def. There is also a wide variety of items on his shelves. Most prominent is a class graduation photo featuring a strange collection of colorful teenagers. I don't like that phrase out of context. My last <laughs> item of note is a dartboard with a photo of Junko and Shima on it. I was about to say <laughs> There was the pause. Luckily, it explained Nagato. Mr. Offner was able to volunteer me to act in his stead. Nagato coughed politely. He began to provide his questions.
First to Ben. Now that you finished no. Pokemon Scarlet, Benjina was able to relax after her most grueling Pokemon battle against Professor Sada's AI, when all of a sudden, a strangely hopeful teenager appeared right before her. With no warning, this lucky individual grabbed her and threw her into the time machine, all the while yelling that this was all being done in the name of hope. Benjina saw space-time itself uh, unravel, oh, and she found herself being pulled through the time stream. Eventually, she saw a fork before her, she could either go back to the prehistoric past during the age of the dinosaurs or head into the future with the AI machines having slaved the human race. Into which time period would you like Benjina to travel to? Oh, Jesus. Past um, or future. So uh, I guess uh, spoilers <laughs> for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we didn't know. We, we read these questions sometimes off the cuff. Like, you always did, Ben. I'm sure you can figure something out. Uh, I'll just put a spoiler warning for Pokemon yep. Scarlet and Violet. Um, well, I'm gonna say... Uh, wait, is, is it in Pokemon terms or is it in, like, actual... For It's Benjina, so it's the Pokemon world, right? Yeah. Uh, those prehistoric Pokemon look pretty damn cool. I would love to see some more prehistoric, like, Pokemon get makeovers. So you like, just... to go to the past. I'm into the past to see all the cool prehistoric Pokemon designs. I think that would be pretty damn cool. Mm. And I don't know. I actually haven't looked up the, the Violet versions of the uh, Pokemon. Mm, no, me neither. Actually I actually need to that. do that. Yeah. So we can do that now because we beat the game. Yeah, yeah, I need to see what the Violet ones look like. So, on the sake of what I've seen of the Pokemon, like, Screamtown stuff, I would really like to see what more past Pokemon, like, what would, uh... Uh, what's going to top flutter I mean? Uh, what would, like, a prehistoric Pokemon, like... I mean, like, what would a prehistoric C Cubone look like? I know that's funny because Cubone's <laughs> already got, like, the caveman yeah. style or whatever. I'd kind of like to see how they can enhance that somehow. Like, I don't know why. I feel like that would be quite good to see. So, you um, want Benjana to go to the past just purely on design aesthetic alone? Design aesthetic of the Pokemon alone that we've seen, Good I answer. Think. Yeah. <laughs> Screw getting eaten by a T-Rex. As, as long as you see one peak design before that happens, you're good. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go for the past. Nice. All right. Okay, now, Joe. As for Joe, you have unfortunately been made into a statistic as Trunkkun, who has been driven... Oh, I think you mean Trunkkun. Yeah. <laughs> a truck. We're getting yeah. Isekai stuff here. As decided oh, no. you'll be the next Isekai protagonist. Oh, boy. I'm going to be uh, <laughs> the main protagonist of a mid-anime. Let's go. Luckily, a goddess <laughs> appears before your spirit and offers to assist you with the reincarnation process. My question is fuss. What kind of setting would you like to be reincarnated into? Oh, that's actually a seriously oh, good question. Fantasy, cyberpunk. Oh, man. Please go into as much detail as you want. So, here's the thing. I would be cool with going into, like, any era that isn't modern. Because... Uh, <laughs> from what I have experienced from loads of video games, uh, they're all radical, despite the horrible shit that happens in a lot of them. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, fuck. I mean, uh, I've recently finished Cyberpunk, and I fucking loved that city, even if it was a wretched time of scum and villainy. Uh, oh, Jesus. High Medieval uh, has been uh, uh, rotted away by how bad it might be, thanks to Game of Thrones and Dark Souls. Um, fantasy, uh... I mean, uh, I guess I could think of an error as well. Can't look. There's, there's so many different versions and depictions uh, of these there's sorts. So, of, what what like, would you settings. say is your favourite depiction of like a version <sighs> All right, or something? I'm gonna that say it here. Go dystopian future. Oh God! I'm a fuck. sucker for it. I'm a sucker for dystopian future. I sideways. love a good. I I I have to admit, I do like Blade I am Runner a and all that shit. The, the, like... y, the YA stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it speaks to me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I so, understand. It's very interesting. It Why do we like dystopian futures? So? I don't know. Some fascination yeah. with them. It's maybe. It's what just is your fascination? Maybe it's the it? fact that we're getting closer and closer to it in real life. But I I can see like that because I feel like we live it. in one. Yeah, I feel like we live in one. It and, would be uh, horrible, but I would love to live in a futuristic cyberpunk era, just to see okay. how far technology has gone and how it's bollocked up humanity and, and how oh, man, I can make so it benefit and how I can make it benefit my way of life. 
Oh man, that's such a uh, an Without getting optimist. screwed by the is Illuminati that an optimistic, or whatnot. Is, is that an optimistic nihilistic view, right? Yeah, there? positive nihilism. <laughs> yeah. You know, wow. Life doesn't matter. Like... And then there's life doesn't matter. Yeah, true. <laughs> and certainly we're marrying a futuristic <laughs> dystopia, so yeah, fuck it, why not? Oh, wow, okay. That's my answer. I, 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 I want to see IRL. Fair enough. See how bad wow. it really is when it's not in a film or video game. Oh man, we're hitting that point now. Did you hear about Brilliant the little? There was a little girl. There was a little girl on um, Good Morning Britain, I believe. A uh, very like two day, three days ago. Oh, I heard about this. A bo- bionic eye. Yeah. I was like, what the? F- a bionic yeah. eye? Yeah. And she could change them out. Yeah, like <laughs> and she could change them out. She had like one that she designed and one that like. The pupil like yeah. uh, contracts and expands, and I was like, Retinal "Oh my god, technology. yeah, that thing could have applications in the future." Like, <laughs> maybe oh. it's scary, but we're getting there. We'll, man. we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. As long as it's not AI, I'm good. Uh, as both Ben and Joe gave their answers, Nagato gave a wave at both of the annoyed YouTubers <laughs> as he ended the video call. Very true to character. As it ended, oh. Nagato's smile threatened to split his face as the room behind him turns out to be only a background image. In reality, Nagato is really inside of a control room with a familiar umbrella. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're going off the rails again. The morning power that Nagato was using to communicate with Banjo just before disappearing in the flash of light as it was never there. The flick of his finger, the computer screen that is connected to the umbrella facility switched over to a security feed. The camera catching the fight between Joe, the ultimate editor, Gene, the vampire warrior, and Vanilla Ice. Oh yeah, this is still going. Forgot about that. As the intensity of the battle reaches a crescendo, Vanilla Ice is able to nearly rip off Gene's leg of his stand cream. Commander's eye began to turn into a whirlpool of light and darkness. My fellow Ultimate, uh, do not worry. Even if should the worst come to pass, I'll always be by your side. Whose excitement had gotten to the point where he jumped into the control panel. A collection of bodies now visible beneath him are moving since they have been slain. As for you see, hope will always win in the end. <laughs> Man, this needs to be an anime or a series. <laughs> Speaking of crossovers, that's bringing the hype, bro. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Well, Gideon. Gotta, oh man, Gideon, your you questions. Your imagination there, bro. They're, 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 mate, Gideon, your questions are always a highlight of this QA oh, yeah. section. The Holy reason we shit. save these for last. <laughs> yeah. You're always lost because they're always god, so, dude. like, in. Oh man. Very I've never, I've never had a question be structured this way before, but I really do love it. It's so funny. This is certainly fresh, but I'm certainly not knocking <laughs> it. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. If you'd like to give us questions, you can join the Dionysus tier, where we open the Q&A once a a month, and you can send in your questions there. Uh, um, It really, they'll always be featured here, because we generally go through literally every one of them, usually. I think we we are at that point where we can. If people if do we more of, than uh, two questions, yeah. then we have to choose two. Yeah, yeah. If people do more than two, then we uh, so we have two to, max. Yeah, yeah. Two is max. Like we'll answer. But um, yeah. Uh, if more and more people come, I don't know how we'd uh, structure it all, but <laughs> it's 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 fun. I really I love I appreciate everyone who always sends in their questions. It is such a good segment. Probably my favorite one of my favorite segments of this podcast. Yeah, it's a, it's a really fun segment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I really love answering the QA. And it's integration as well, so that's always a fun yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I uh, guess that's it from me, mate. Uh, yep. We'll see you in the next Tavin Talk. That's the project for me, mate. I'll see you All right. next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.